Hey guys, it's Corv Ross and welcome to Six News. So today we have a trailer for the brand new event that is coming to Rainbow Six Siege called the Mute Protocol. It's going to start up on August 4th, but let's watch the trailer. Founded before the fifth corporate war, Mute Tower represents a voice for independence in the city. Defense units activated. Attackers are inbound. Servers targeted. Mute must be eliminated. So there we go guys, that is the trailer for Mute Protocol and it looks really cool, I'm very excited. They don't normally actually pre-market stuff before it happens, this is new for mid-season events, usually it just hits and it's out all of a sudden. This is cool to actually see them building up to it. So of course, don't have to wait too long, it's going to be out tomorrow on Tuesday, but let's hit a few of the major points of this trailer. So it's set in Tower, so of course that's a map that people will love and hate. Uh, in equal measures, I think. It's, of course, still the same tower, but it does have new textures, new materials, so it is going to feel different, and the way you're going to play on it is going to be entirely different as well. As we see, we've got the attackers actually coming in in a futuristic vehicle. Of course, this is set somewhere in the future. It's not even on Earth, because I can see, obviously, what looks to be on our planet in the background or something in that skyline, but... It's pretty damn cool. We then have Mute, who's reporting in and letting us know that someone has come in to attack. So he looks pretty awesome in his robot gear. And certainly going for kind of like a style maybe the 70s would have used to the idea of what the future would have looked like in their movies and stuff. We then see Vigil, I think that is, there. And he looks very sinister. He might be the boss of this whole thing, I think. Even though it is called the Mute Protocol. Um, and of course, you'd think Mute, maybe, but Vigil just kind of looks like he might be in charge, but I could be totally wrong there. Then we have kind of an interior shot of Tower, showing us that it very much still is the same map, but we do get a sense of the cosmetics have changed a little bit when it comes to the textures and all that. We get a good shot of the Defenders. So we've got Vigil, Capcan, Oryx, and in the background is Mira, and uh, looking pretty damn cool in their like i can't imagine these cosmetics showing up in the normal game they look really good here in this event but it is going to be odd to fight these characters in normal gameplay when of course a lot of people pay for the expensive paid packs and of course they will be expensive then we have a view of the attackers so we've got ying lion and jackal here presumably there's probably more as well but have to just wait for the actual event to come out. Of course, there has been leaks, but we're only talking official information today. So we've got here Lion and all that actually getting their drones out. And instead of just driving around their drones as normal, what happens is they actually change into their drones. So they are now driving around and effectively can pop up anywhere they want as operators. So a really cool mechanic that, of course, we've never seen in Siege because it would not fit in at all with it. But we see them here teleporting into their drones and then driving around in custom drones again. Custom drones. I want to see custom drones it actually be a cosmetic someday. But uh, I don't know if it's going to happen, of course. The last time we've seen it was like years ago with the April Fool's event on plane. But anyway, we see this drone sneaking up on Oryx here. And then it transforms into human form or robot form, whatever you want to call it, and takes out Oryx. Then we have Vigil, who's on defense, of course. He has the ability to do kind of the same thing, except his one's more of a teleportation. So he's getting attacked here by a lot of attackers. And what he actually does is bring out his camera, and then he can actually switch through all the defenders' cams that they've set up. These are bulletproof cams, although they're actually indestructible. And he teleports away to the camera behind the attackers and takes them out. And as you can see there, that's one of the bulletproof cams. You see it's just retextured. And then we have another view of another one with the uh, mirror this time teleporting in. And yeah, this is really cool. I'm really liking it. And I like the Capcan cosmetic. He looks he looks beefy. And I kinda like that hood for sure. Wonder which one I'll get in my free pack. Then we have a close-up of Ying looking of course old school, kind of 70s vibe maybe off that, but yeah, pretty damn sweet. 
But like I say, when the event's actually gone and these cosmetics are still around, it's going to be weird to see them. Then we see Ying taking a vigil at the end there. So while actually rendering out this video for the first time, I found some more stuff. So we've got two pictures from the Ubisoft press site. This one shows all the operators in their gear, which is very cool. Also shows what the paid pack looks like, which is also cool. And we've also got this. This is the signature weapon skin. So I assume probably a universal that you get for the paid packs and looks cool. Or it might be the separate, although the paid pack is the right side of it. So I'm assuming it is going to be part of the paid packs. So yeah, that is a look at all the cosmetics. So we've got to see all of the uniforms and they are all the ones that actually show up in the trailer and the signature weapon skin as well. So yeah, back to my original video now. And yeah, overall, really cool trailer. This is has me actually hyped up. Normally, I don't get hyped up quite so much for the events until they're actually out. This is cool to have a trailer before it. And yeah, it'll be playable tomorrow. So anyway guys, let me know what you think of this trailer in the comments below and what you feel about this game mode along with the cosmetics as well. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.